The New York City Council Ethics Committee recommends the expulsion of Councilman Mastro Pieri, and President Carter promises more gasoline for California. I'm Joan Harris, and here are the latest details from 13. The New York City Council Ethics Committee has found Queens Councilman Eugene Mastropieri guilty of 14 charges of misconduct and has unanimously recommended his expulsion from the City Council. The committee's findings, reached after nearly 10 hours of deliberations today, now go before the full council for a vote. <clears throat> Excuse me. California Governor Jerry Brown received President Carter's personal promise to help ease the gasoline shortage in his state today. The two potential political rivals met at the White House for an hour, after which Carter said he feels great concern for California's frustrated motorists. Later in the day, the White House released an Energy Department report that concluded California's special gas problems are due to high demand, which stems from a big increase in population and cars in the state over recent years. Carter says the Energy Department has changed the base for gas allocation from 1972 to 1978 to more accurately reflect that growth in California's driving population and that this change should significantly ease the California situation. Mobile Oil says it hasn't found any significant indication of oil or natural gas at its second well in the Baltimore Canyon off the New Jersey coast. The company says it will abandon drilling operations there for at least the immediate future while its experts study the wells. Texaco and Exxon are still drilling in the area. Lewis Werner, the suspected inside man in last December's $5.8 million Lufthansa heist, was convicted of robbery and conspiracy today in the largest cash theft in U.S. history. Werner is the only one of several suspects to be charged so far. None of the cash or jewelry taken from Lufthansa's cargo hangar at Kennedy Airport on December 11th has been recovered. About 200 angry taxicab drivers tried to stage a motorcade demonstration at LaGuardia Airport today. Police uh, kept the drivers out of the airport, but they did manage to back up traffic to the Triborough Bridge, about four miles away. The drivers were apparently mad about surprise inspections by the city on taxi garages this week. One taxi spokesman called the city's action pure and simple harassment. The nation's industrial production fell 1% last month. It's the biggest drop in four years. But the Federal Reserve Board says the Teamster strike and other problems in the trucking industry were chiefly responsible. Still, one government economist said the new statistics may signal a recession later this year. And the stock market closed higher in fairly active trading. The Dow Jones average of 30 industrials gained over two points to end the day at 828.48. Volume on the exchange was 28,350,000 shares. Conservationists won a major victory today when the House voted to preserve 110 million acres of Alaska's majestic scenery. Opponents had argued that the bill locks up too much of Alaska's oil and timber. The measure now goes to the Senate. And this just in. A. Philip Randolph, the black labor leader who organized the historic 1963 Civil Rights March on Washington, died today in New York City. He was 90. His death was disclosed late tonight by AFL-CIO spokesman Al Zack, who called Randolph one of the greatest men of our times. Sports and weather are next, right after these items from 13's calendar of events. And turning now to sports, Craig Nettles slammed a pair of two-run homers tonight to help Ron Guidry and the Yankees to a 6-2 win over the Tigers. Meanwhile, the Mets lost to the Pittsburgh Pirates 4-3. And in basketball, the Washington Bullets beat the San Antonio Spurs 108-100. 
to tie that NBA playoff series at three games each. Here's the weather forecast for the tri-state area. It will be clear overnight with temperatures dropping into the low 50s. For tomorrow, you can expect sunny skies and pleasant temperatures in the low 70s. And Friday's outlook calls for fair skies with temperatures remaining in the 70s. Right now, it's 64 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 17 Celsius. The humidity is 38%, and the barometer reads 30.26 inches, and it's rising. And that's our report for tonight. New York's top columnists look at the day's news on special edition, weeknight at 8 p.m. Skyline is next on 13. I'm Joan Harris. Have a good night.